So today, uh, we're back around the same area that we did the photography, uh, uh, the road air photography video. And uh, we're just having a look for any signs of life. And uh, you can clearly see where the deer have been uh, coming and going. This track here is what they've been using. And we're just going to be heading about, enjoying the scenery. It's quite windy at the moment. Now the place I am at the moment, uh, I simply adore. It's uh, it's incredible here. Uh, the amount of wealth of wildlife and plants and veg vegetation here is just amazing. This is a stream running all the way down there. So uh, a lot of the wildlife congregates there. We will definitely head on down to the stream and. Uh, take a look down there but uh, this is a, a tribute tree to the stream and uh, I think I'm sinking in sinking mud brilliant when we find a good place to uh, cross the river we'll cross there and uh, we'll just cross the river but uh, I didn't test how deep the mud was, and uh, I slipped and uh, fell. But the good thing is that there is hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of deer tracks uh, all around here. So, uh, so this is the stream. We're going to try and look for like a waterfall and uh, hopefully grab a long, a long exposure. This noise here, my friends, is the uh, noise of running water. And that means we have got ourselves a waterfall. Uh, and that is fantastic. I'm super happy. So now we'll just uh, you know, make it all look a bit nice. Set up a tripod. And then uh, I do know a place once we've uh, finished with the uh, long, long exposure where there are uh, ducks and coots and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's just get to work and uh, grab this picture. <sighs> okay, so let me just explain long exposures. So long exposure is where you have your shutter uh, open for a certain amount of time and uh, you keep it open. So the more like movement you have in the shot, the streakier the image goes or the like the more like almost misty it looks. So uh, that is a, lo a long exposure for you. And uh, I've got mine set to, uh, let's go take it up, shall we? So this is what mine is set to. Mine has got a uh, two second exposure at F32 and ISO 100. So uh, let's go take that picture. So I always have a, uh, Always set a two second timer. Make sure that shot is looking good. And let's take the picture. Doesn't that look cool? I've uh, finished up with the long exposures now. And uh, I think I've got some cool ones. I think I preferred it when there was just a small bit of movement in the water so, so you could still see like the um, whiteness of the uh, ripples in the water and uh... so I've just come across this lake and uh, whilst finding the lake I just found these two beautiful Canadian geese over there so uh, hopefully try to get a little bit closer so uh, I don't want to get too close to these geese because uh, they can be quite vicious, uh, but also uh, the, the female will sit on her clutch of eggs or uh, sit on the nest while the male protects it. And if she's sitting on some eggs, uh, I need to be careful. So, uh, 
So the geese now know I'm uh, here, and they're absolutely fine with my presence. They are they're just eating the grass, uh, and they eat a wide range of uh, food. They eat berries, they eat nuts, they eat grass, and they uh, sometimes nibble stuff up off the top of the water. And uh, this could be a great photo opportunity for me, so I'm going to unlock my uh, tripod and uh, hopefully get some good pictures. This is seriously good. This uh, tripod head, which I talked about in my previous video, is uh, doing really well. And uh, I think I'm just going to move a tiny bit closer, so uh, yeah. So that was absolutely fantastic. The Canadian geese were such a good subject to photograph. Uh, I got some nice ones where the uh, blacks and whites really popped out of the green, of the grass. And uh, yeah, it's been a really, really constructive day, I think. Beautiful weather. Uh, really, really good. Took some long exposures found some geese and uh, yeah it was a good day. I was gonna set you down there. So uh, thank you so much for 100 subscribers it really means so much to me and I, got, I can't thank you enough um, each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and watching my content to people and I just can't thank all of you enough for subscribing to my channel. And uh, yeah, seriously, seriously cool. So uh, I've decided that I'm going to pack the camera away and if I see any deer, I'm just going to enjoy watching them and uh, observing them and uh, yeah, I'm just going to put everything in my backpack and uh, just enjoy being out here. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, until next time.